problem is asking us to calculate the value of this expression when x is equal to 5. When you're asked to do this task, all you have to do is take x equals 5. Wherever there's an x, you're going to put a 5. So now we have 3. Now whenever they're beside each other, remember that that means to multiply. I bet you remember that already though. So we have 3 times 5 minus 9. All right, so now this is easy. 3 times 5 is 15. Remember, we have to do multiplication before subtraction. And 15 take away 9 gives us 6 for our answer. Now this one has two variables. Remember, whenever we hear the term variable, it means a letter. A variable. Simply put, it's a letter in an algebra problem. That's it. Same thing as before. Wherever there's an M, we're going to put a 2. And wherever there's an N, we're going to put a 6. So the 2 is going to go up here. And the 6 is going to go over here. This looks like and is a model of what we do whenever we calculate geometry problems, area, volume, um, square footage, lateral area, surface area, any type of geometry calculation, we're doing this. We're plugging values into a given formula. Well, here we're given an expression and we're plugging these given values in. So now we have two plus three over n is 6 plus 4. We're going to solve the top first, and then the bottom, and then divide at the very end. So we have 5 over 10, which gives us 1 half, or 0.5. And those are your answers. Same thing if you have 3. If you have 3 different variables, that you have to work with. Wherever there's an A, you're going to put a 2. Wherever there's a B, you're going to put an 8. Let me move my camera here. So wherever there's a C, you're going to put a 3. And then you solve it. So 5 times 2 plus 3 times 8 minus 6 times 3. We have 10 plus 24 minus 18. Now we have to remember to do these calculations using the order of operations. We have addition and subtraction here, but which is presented to us first? Well, the addition is. So we've got to do this right here first. So we've got 34 minus 18. And that, of course, 34 minus 18 gives us 16 for our final answer. Let's take a look at one of the things in your book here before we move on to the next part of the lesson. At the top, it says identifying terms. Now there are some vocabulary here that you do need to be aware of. So I would take some notes on this if I were you, just so that whenever you hear the word, you can go back and think, okay, what's a coefficient? What's, what's she mean when she's saying term? So let's look at the top there. It says identifying terms. In the first set, there are three terms. 2y is a term, 21z is a term, and 6 is a term. Remember back to pre-algebra whenever we talked about like terms. Like terms were terms that were alike. They had the same variable combination. Now you can see in this first one that they are not like terms. 2y has y for its variable and 21z has a z, so they do, are not like terms. But there's three terms there. Look at the second set. There's two terms. They're groups of numbers that are added or subtracted to each other. There's two terms. That last one, there are four terms. 
Now you see the word constant. A constant is any term that has no variable to it. So a constant is just a plain number. It has no variable tagged along with it. Now look at the next part here. We have identifying coefficients and factors. Whenever you have factors, factors are numbers that multiply together. Like look in the corner there, it says remember, in two times three equals six, two and three are called factors and six is the product. Well, factors are numbers or variables that are multiplied together. So here we have three different factors. We have negative three, m, and n. They're all multiplied together, so they're all factors. Now the coefficient, coefficient is a term that refers to the number portion of a term. So the coefficient here is negative three. Look back up to the top where we have in, in the first set of terms there where it has three terms. We have two y. Two is the coefficient, but two and y are both factors because they're multiplied together. We are asked to identify the terms of the expressions. So we have two expressions here. We want to know what the terms are. The terms are the different groups of numbers and variables together. So here is a, a term, here is a term, and here is a term. We have three terms. In this second one, we have one term, two terms. So it's not too hard to identify the terms. It's just the different groups that are multiplied and subtracted. We want to identify the coefficient and the factors of the term. Now remember that the coefficient, let's do this one at a time here, the coefficient is the number part. It's the number part. That's not a hashtag, that's a number symbol. And the factors are the numbers and variables that are multiplied together. So here is our coefficient, and then we have three factors. Three factors. Now let's look here. Our coefficient, remember, is the number portion. Our coefficient here is two thirds. So two thirds is our coefficient. We have two factors here. Our two factors would be two thirds and x. So we have our two factors, two thirds and x. Let's look here. Do we have a coefficient? It kind of looks like we don't, right? But anytime you have numbers multiplied together or variables here, you can assume that there is a one in front. That one's a little tricky, isn't it? That is our coefficient. Our coefficient is one. Now in this term, we have three factors. You can call one a factor if you'd like as well. But these numbers are all multiplied together. So again, anytime you see variables alone in an expression, you know that there is a one in front of them, like a hidden one. All right, we're gonna use that information again. So what's the coefficient here? It would be negative one. Since there's no number out here, we know that there's a one. So our coefficient is negative one. And then we have our factors. Now we're asked to identify the terms and the constant of the given expression. So the terms again, those are just one, two, three. You've got three terms. Here, we got one, 
two, three terms. We have three terms in each one of these expressions. The constant is the number without a variable. Okay, it's the number that does not have a variable or the term that doesn't have a variable attached to it. So here is our constant. And here is our constant. These two terms do not have a variable attached to them.